I had somebody ask me, where can I get Play on Linux? I don't see it in the Software Center, and I don't know much about the Synaptic Package Manager, so where can I get this so I can get started? Well, today that's what we're going to do. We're going to Play on Linux. All right, now uh, to get Play on Linux, let's go to their website and we can either download a dev package or if you're using Natty, we have some codes we can go ahead and issue to the terminal. You need to go to this website right here. Let me zoom in on this so that you can see it. That is playonlinux.com slash en. All right, and uh, so you just go to this page and you download, I'd like to download Play on Linux. It'll tell you to go to the download page. The current version is 4.0.1.2. I probably have that installed, but that's okay. We can uh, still uh, uh, go through the uh, installation process anyway. I'm running uh, Ping iOS, which is a flavor of Ubuntu, so I want to get the Ubuntu package. And I have a choice. I can either download the deb file and go ahead and, and just execute that, or I can type some commands into my terminal. So why don't I go ahead and do that? Let me go ahead and pull up that terminal here, and we're going to copy this first line of information here. Copy. And then I'm just going to right click and paste. It's asking me for my password. Oops. Helps if I learn how to type. Okay, we've added the res repository. All right, and then we'll uh, get the second line in here. All right, and then we sudo apt-get update. Next, we type in sudo apt-get install play on Linux. Okay, it's telling me that mine is already up to date. Uh, zero upgraded, zero newly installed, zero to remove, and three not upgraded. No problem. At least I know that it's fresh. The reason I showed you to use your terminal to do this is because every time your system updates, it will download the latest Play on Linux version for your computer. If you just download the Play on Linux dev file, it's not going to update itself when your system updates. So it's always good to have uh, this in your uh, repository listing. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and launch the program. First I'll close this. And here it is. All right. Let me close this window too. Next we'll want to go ahead and install something. So I'll press install and then Let's pick an application. Hmm. Just for laughs and giggles, I'd like to try and install Internet Explorer 7 in Linux and see if I can get it to run. Okay, I've got this selected. Now, if there's something that is not in the list, you have this link down here that will allow you to install a non-listed program. You can try that if you wish. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install this. And then the wizard pops up.
As you can see, it's downloading Wine version 1.3.6. The nice thing about this software is it's going to go ahead and download all of the requirements that are needed to get this program properly running. Now this may take a moment, so I'm going to pause the camera, but I'll be right back. All of the dependencies and everything for Internet Explorer has downloaded and now we are greeted with a nice little prompt asking us what language we wish to use. So uh, naturally I'm going to pick English because that is the only language I can speak. Mi espanol no es de bien. And then it's going to download Internet Explorer 7. Now that the program has finished uh, downloading, we are greeted with this wonderful screen asking us to back up our files, close all programs, which I'm not going to do, Disable antivirus and anti spyware scanners. <laughs> and once Internet Explorer is installed, you should be able to re enable these programs. Lovely. Okay, and please read the license terms. Hmm. I wonder why they did that. There's no license terms. Okay, so I can accept it. I don't need the malicious software tool. I'm running Linux. Now we're getting required updates. And of course, like any Windows program you install, they want you to restart the computer. Uh, well, I know it's not going to restart Linux, so let's go ahead and restart. What it's going to do is simulate a reboot. Oh, and it's even downloading Flash Player for Internet Explorer. Pretty cool, huh? All right, it says the installation is finished. Let's press Next. It's closed. Okay, and then we have a nice, shiny Internet Explorer 7 icon ready for us to use. And let's go ahead and run it. All right, and as you can see here, we have Internet Explorer 7 running natively in Linux. How do you like that? So there's your tutorial on Play on Linux. Let's first, uh, I just want to make sure that we can do a search for something. So, um, or even just visit a website. So let's go to my favorite web page. We'll go to distrowatch.com. And voila, we are up and running. So there you go. And by the way, I know a good friend of mine uh, who uh, has been giving me a little bit of hassle since I uh, switched to Linux. And he said uh, that, you know, I'm not using the big E anymore. Well, here it is, the big E on Linux. How do you like me now, Mr. Zish? If you thought this tutorial was useful, please hit the subscribe and the like buttons down below. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please fill out the forms and I'll be happy to answer them. And if it's a question that I really like, I'll make a video response of it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.